When you see this here, I just get shivers. <laughs> I love you, Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Dave, for joining us in a wonderful stadium on such a beautiful day. How are you feeling today? Good? It's, it's a pleasure to be here. Is your home? <laughs> <laughs> it looks good on you, man. It's red. <laughs> yeah. You know, the thing is, as a centre-half, especially the centre-half that you are, how would you say it's changed? The, the centre-back role has changed so much now, especially for a player like you with the build-up that sometimes you have to do. 2011, when I signed for Chelsea and tried to build from the back, they say I'm crazy. <laughs> and then uh, now everybody's understood. We had different paths, with accelerated paths, with paths can 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 break some lines. You can create opportunity to score. So this is the modern form, the evolution of football. And then I really enjoy it because mm. I enjoy to play with the ball. I enjoy to take. Uh, some risk to pass and to create something for my strikers to have a, a ball in better position. Can you learn to be that brave with the pass? Like, I, I don't see you turning down a pass. You can learn. A player really made a difference in my career was Pablo Aymar. Yes. Once, once he took me in yeah. Benfica and said, David, I just want to teach you to, to change a defensive ball in an offensive ball. Because the ball comes to you and if, if you put there on the stand, yes. okay, you defend, but you cannot attack. So when you play, everything you're doing is, is offensive. You're trying to be offensive with all of your stuff. To start to do something football, you have to understand the evolution of mm -hmm. football. Before, play like this. Defender here, defender here. Space everywhere. Never put water in the pitch. The ball was heavy. Yeah. The boots was heavy. <laughs> Everybody was more strong than quickly. Yeah. And then? Condense. Condense, condense. Quickly, speed. Now the ball is light, the, the boots are light, the players are... The pitch is, is like this yeah. and, and water. Everything is about winning time Quick. now. Is that what Mikel is good at? Translating yes. that over to people? He tries to give as many information as possible for us to have this kind of ideas already inside our head when you're going to play football. So mm. he's so good on it. Well, obviously we've got Edu, Brazilian, yourself, Martinelli now, two more guys. We're a Brazilian team now. Is it good to have these guys? I think it's always good to have yeah. some Brazilians, no? <laughs> <laughs> I think we are happy people. Yes. Our country, our culture is about this, it's about happiness, it's about Enjoying it. always try to enjoy and try to, to, to do as better we can do. And uh, it's great because I think we signed great players. Both Gabriels, they have an amazing future and yes. they, they are ready, ready for the present. Yes. Uh, and William is a top class player. He's my friend from childhood. And uh, of course, I'm happy because yes. he came. Did you speak to him? Did you tell him what we're about? What yeah, yeah, yeah. About? of course. So first thing, follow your, your heart. And I think you're uh, gonna come for an amazing club. Everybody's gonna be waiting here with a big smile and uh, trying to help you to, to, to make you enjoy in the best way. And uh, of course, I, said, I told him, I'm waiting for you. When you see William, very serious face guy. You know, um, he looks very serious all the time. He looks very serious all the time. Always serious. <laughs> Every time I see him, he's, he's very, his face is very serious. No, no. No? He's not. Yeah. He's just what shy. do you like in the dressing room? He's a shy. He's, he's a, a shy bit, guy. A bit shy. Yes. When he doesn't know the people. As soon as he knows, and then he yes. big smile, jokes every day. He's a proper Brazilian. Mm. He just don't show <laughs> in the first stage. What, what do you think is his best position for us? Is? Uh, for me, it's more he can has the ball, yes. it's better for us. So he can touch 100 balls in the game, it's going to be amazing for us. So players with his quality, I think... Have uh, to give him the ball. Have to give him the yeah. ball, give the ball, give the ball, and they're going to create, they're going to make the difference. Mm -hmm. You know something, he's been very impressive, Gabriel. He really does seem to be getting this yeah, game. Yeah, he's it's a tough game English football. He's comfortable, I think, uh, to play already because he has mature enough to play, has courage to play, personality yeah. to play. You see you as a senior player though, when, what, everything I'm hearing is how good you are with Saliba, with Gabriel, with all the young guys. This is something I, I really enjoy to do. I think to see other success give me joy, I, make me happy. Mm -hmm. So I just try 
to, to, to help them and to give some different opinions. Because I know when you're young, you're not mature enough to understand all kind of situations in football, in our professional life, your first injury, uh, yeah. your first uh, goal, your, your first mistake, or, you know, the, all this kind of stuff is, is new for them. Mm -hmm. And for us, not. So this kind of thing I always like just to, not to impose, or it's like that. Yes. You have to go in this way. No, it's just to give your opinion to them, listen. In my case, happened like this. Oh yeah, play with play with me was like that. Mm -hmm. So just open their mind and to, to understand the big picture because they don't have the yeah the it's experience from the from yeah. the football. And then it's for me, it's a pleasure to to be with them. I remember the last time we spoke. It was just before that City game where you came and you, you came on and you got a lot of criticism and you came out afterwards and you spoke to everybody. You told them all these things and I. I didn't, I didn't want you to do that. I didn't feel that you needed to do that, but you've done that. And a lot of people gave you a lot of credit for that, me included. I did what I feel. I'm a guy with a heart. Mm -hmm. And I think that they helped me for the future. I take the blame, I was there. It's my name, no problem. I'm gonna put my face out there, yeah. speak, put things out. And I have to prepare for the next. Yes. In the end of the day, you have to represent this. Yeah. Big budge with proud, with pleasure, and then do your job. When you don't do, it's a big club. Yeah. It's a big name. I'm going to have to take the criticism. Okay, I think. The guy can criticize me. I'm going to accept. Mm. Some of them criticize in bad way. Yes. Some of them Negative. criticize in a good way. But in the end of the day, they are doing their job. If they do their jobs good and bad, is not my problem. Right. You understand? They yeah. can do, as a player can play good or bad. They can do. So in that game, I just prepare myself already for the next. Yes. It was what I did. I did in the change room first, with them, with the other players, yes. and I did also. What did you speak to the players? I speak with the players all the time, and I said to all the players, Nobody goes to the press, no need to go to the press, because no, no one player likes when you lose a game to go to the press. I say to them, no problem, I go to the press, I'm going to speak with them, and you guys can already think for the next game, let me do it. And football is beautiful, because yeah. they're waiting for me for the same final in the FA Cup. Yes, man. Did you say I was there for you? I felt your screens all the time <laughs> from there. Thanks, Dave. My pleasure. Thank you, my friend. Always oh, so good to speak to you. I'm so glad you're in the dressing room, my friend. Thank you. Man. God bless you, Dave. It's my pleasure.